This dancing laser display is a behaviour never seen before in light. It's called branched flow, a phenomenon where beam splits along its path. In theory, it could happen to any form of wave under the right conditions. Here, the complex pattern is created with a laser and a simple soap bubble. And this experiment is shedding new light on the phenomenon. A number of things can happen when a wave, any wave, travels through a medium. Certain random variations in a medium can cause the wave to spread out. Others will keep the wave focused as it travels. But if the wave travels through just the right kind of medium, you end up with, that's right, branched flow. The beam divides up into an intricate tree-like pattern. For branched flow to occur, the medium's random structure must be larger than the wave's wavelength and has to vary smoothly in all directions. Researchers first spotted this wave behaviour in 2001 in electrons, which can behave like waves. Scientists have also spotted branch flow with microwaves and have even seen hints of it in tsunamis. But the phenomenon still hadn't been recreated in visible light. Until now. A group of researchers shone a laser beam along the curved film of a soap bubble. To their surprise, the light split into filaments as it travelled. It turned out that variations in the bubble's thickness were creating the branched flow phenomenon. The team also investigated the branching for flat bubble films. As the soapy surface fluctuates, the branching pattern evolves. Shining a separate light on the bubble film from above reveals how thick the bubble is in different places. And the team used this information to investigate how properties of the branching pattern, like the average position of the first branch, are affected by the bubble. These bubbly experiments aren't easy to set up. Getting the light to travel inside the bubble film is particularly fiddly. And it's hard to study something when your apparatus has a tendency to pop. But now that the team have shown how to create this phenomenon with light, they expect other groups around the world to investigate it too. The experiment could help physicists understand the branch flow behaviour. This could one day open the door to applying it to certain tasks, such as probing the properties of biological membranes. So there's still plenty to learn from this tree of light. <laughs>